Well, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. We're getting a little bit of snow dusting here this morning. I thought I moved away from that stuff. <clears throat> Didn't go far enough south. Okay, hey, we still have our um, uh, special going. I do want to thank for those that have, that have taken advantage of that. I do appreciate it. Uh, remember that if you do this, um, make sure you drop me an email uh, and let me know you've done it so I make sure I get your ex extra months added on there. Uh, we'll get those done right away. Um, just real quickly, uh, basically if you upgrade uh, to a year membership or anyone new here, if you buy a new membership, you get two extra months on top of the two months you already get free by buying a yearly membership. It gives you four four free months total. If you choose to do the six month uh, program, uh, that's where you normally would get one month off of that uh, six months, so you get seven. We're going to add another month, uh, give you two extra free months, so that'll give you eight months. Uh, uh, eight months there. And uh, for non members, if you just simply want to try out uh, uh, a monthly membership, if you, uh, uh, if you do that before December 31, you get one free month. This also is before December 31 as well. Plus, anybody who signs up, uh, toward the end of January, I do not have a date yet, uh, toward the end of January we'll be doing our rounded bottom breakout um, uh, breakout clinic and uh, you'll be receiving $100 off of that. Okay, let's take a look at some stock picks today. Uh, let's see, what email address uh, do you watch? Rick at Rick, Rick. Actually, you can send it to either one and it comes to the comes to both of them. Uh, Rick at Hit and Run Candlesticks or Rick at uh, ricksadler.com. Thanks, Charles. Uh, let's see. Good morning, uh, Dean. How are you? Rick, the stock pick follow-up section is fantastic. I don't know if, uh, if uh, that is new, but I see the 18th and 19th. It will be part of the start of my routine each morning. Thanks for including. You're welcome. Uh, do you mean the... Um, um, yeah, on the member side, yeah, I do that. I am kind of changing things up a little bit. Um, so, you know, you may see a little changing uh, for a few days here. Uh, just kind of trying to make things a little bit better. Uh, add the video in there. Um, so, but like, like today it's going to be a little bit different, but it's, I'm, I'm working it in there. I'm getting it, get it, getting it figured out. Okay quick look at the stock picks and I think we should start with the featured stock pick today well I'll tell you what let me back up let's uh, talk about the spy let's talk about spy we formed a um, dark cloud cover here in the spy uh, we are in a uptrend so what we've got is a little pullback within an uptrend now, being a dark cloud cover, that's a candlestick sell signal. I'm going to give it its due. I think we see a lower low today based on that candlestick. Um, am I concerned that we're headed down further uh, than what we, ha you know, being a, being a bearish candle reversal signal, do I think we're headed lower? Not necessarily, no. A, a, uh, any candlestick, any any candlestick you look at, it require or candlestick pattern requires confirmation. Uh, it re requires follow up, and so far we don't have the follow up. Of course, so far the market's not open. Uh, it actually looks like the market is opening up just a little bit this morning. If it was to open right now, so um, do I expect it? You know, down here, nah. Not unless we see some follow through. So, but I do expect to see a lower low today. I will, I will go go there because, like I say, I've got to give the uh, bearish uh, uh, dark cloud cover its due. Okay, um, figure out what I'm doing here. There we go. Uh, Rose G. Rose G is the featured stock pick today. Uh, I looked at all the stock picks. And this is how I do this. I, I pick all my stock picks. They're, here they are right there. And then I go through the stock picks and I find out, well, which one do I like the best? And I like Rose G. And I like the potential profit it has. Uh, that's something that I, I, I looked at Rose G. I actually thought about 
uh, SB pinball set up here as being a uh, the featured stock pick, but uh, I chose to use that uh, uh, rose rose B right here. So uh, here's our featured stock pick. We want to buy this uh, on a breakout today of about 495, 494. Uh, use the stop. Uh, below the 50-day simple moving average. If it closes back below the 50, I'd be out of this. I wouldn't play with this thing. I wouldn't test it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't cut it any slack. It either is or it isn't. Because if this thing starts to drop and you decide, you know, I'm going to hold it just a little bit, the problem we have with that, from from the 50 down, say if you hold it down into, you know, if you decide, well, I'm going to hold it. Uh, if let's see here. Uh, there we go. You know, if it starts moving back too far and you say, you know, I'm going to hold it because I see this bottom. Uh, we, we're, we, we still haven't, uh, you know, as long as we stay in this area, you might think that. The problem is that's 12%. That's 12%. So be careful. Uh, this Before you know it, you could just like, oh, man, I'm down a ton of money. What just happened here? That's because it's got some volatility here. It's got some movement in it. Uh, now, with that said, I'm looking uh, at this uh, top, this this uh, swing high here as the first target. Well, that's, uh, let's see if I can draw a straight line here. Um, that's pretty close. You know, that's 12% plus. We'll call it 15, okay? 15%. And then we're, we're going to look for a target up here. Uh, up to the 200 if it can break out of this area you know if the bulls can can keep this running then we're looking at 30 percent so um, I like the way the chart has pulled back it rallied up and then it did a little consolidation this low has held above this low set of dojis in here and now we're starting to rally up uh, on that rounded bottom breakout closing above the 50 so Rose G is our feature stock pick today. Okay, I need to run through these pretty quick. I'm running late today. Uh, AMKR, I bought some of this yesterday. Um, not quite, not quite a, well, maybe, you know, maybe we better look here. Uh, let's see, what was the, um, uh, let's see, 1114, and what was the open here? Uh, yeah, not, not uh, um, it, it, you know, somebody might call that a bullish engulf. It, it's close. It's close. Uh, and, and what we have here is a nice, uh, nice uh, uh, candlestick reversal down in this area. Bears took it down. Bulls are taking it up. We have a high, and then we pulled back, created a low, and then we came up again. Here's a high. We pulled back uh, right in this moving average support area. We have a low now with a real nice bullish candle, and it uh, showed some confirmation yesterday. What we need to see is a breakout here. Uh, certainly, a buyer up in this area, and would not be afraid to be a buyer uh, in that area at all, using those moving averages as uh, a nice little stop area right there. Uh, CZR bought some CZR yesterday. I still like this chart very well. Closed with a little doji yesterday. This is just a simple little J hook. Uh, nothing tricky about it. Uh, you can see how it's moved up and pulled back. That's what we're looking for again. It moved up. We're looking for that pullback, which we got it. Now what we're looking for is it to continue up. Uh, so we want to buy this on strength. It needs to close over the T line. Any closes under the T line you want to be out of it because there's just way too much room for it to move down. So have some limits on this one. Um, IQNT, IQNT, nice little rounded bottom right here. If we put our line right in here, you can see that we're 22, 23, 24, 25%, whatever it is. My eyes have trouble seeing way over here. Um, to the 34, so what we have is a pinball setup here. Nice little pinball setup. Uh, wouldn't be afraid to trade this on strength. I would pretty much use the T-line as a stop. If it closes below the T-line, you probably want to get out. The likely target to the downside is the 20. So uh, now if you're willing if you're willing to carry and take that loss down there, that's a different story. I don't think I would be willing to do that, especially this time of year. Uh, I think we could be heading into uh, slowing down. 
uh, as we approach the uh, end of the year. <laughs> Heck, uh, we might wake up tomorrow to something completely different. I guess the, 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 the some say the world's coming to an end tomorrow or tonight or whenever that is. I was going to ask, if anybody knows what time this happens tomorrow, let me know. Um, there's a few things I would like to get done <laughs> before before the end of the world uh, happens tomorrow. Okay, uh, <laughs> MDP. MDP's flagging. Very, 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 very nice. Uh, started off with a, uh, a low. The bulls got a hold of this and took it up. They brought it back and we have a higher low. Then we started moving up and we just kind of consolidated and then a big old rally right here and now now we've got ourselves some nice little flagging consolidation holding above the t-line. I'd be trading this on any kind of a breakout <clears throat> and what are we looking for for a top? Uh, you know basically we get over 35.85 uh, we could see uh, 37 something up into here Uh, MRK. MRK is a short. I am currently short uh, Merck and I wouldn't be afraid to short Merck uh, add to it if it starts dropping below uh, these lows right in here. Looking for about that 200 day moving average as a target right now. And then we'll reevaluate uh, you know once it reaches that area. Q logic. Q logic. Uh, nice rounded bottom breakout here. Uh, you see that how that bottom starting to round up. Those that took the uh, uh, the uh, rounded bottom class here a couple months ago, you can see how the moving averages are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, you can see the distance there and uh, see how they're starting to come together. We're moving up over the 50 now. The day before yesterday, it closed over the 50. Yesterday, it closed over the 50. Uh, ideally. An inside buy is what we want to see. You want to use that 50-day moving average as a stop, maybe the T-line, uh, if you want to drop your stop a little bit lower. But uh, ideally, that's what we're looking for. And then you're looking for this thing to take off to the outside, for this chart to continue this, this bend up. Ultimately, we're looking for the 200-day moving average as our target, realizing that as we move up, as we move up, it's not going to move in a straight line. It's probably going to do something like this. And this is one of the things we look at in that clinic. Uh, basically, clinic, we're looking for the rounded bottom breakouts. And then we'll be talking a lot about uh, uh, J hooks as well, because J hooks are a big part of this. Um, Radio Shack. You know, uh, we have we've had conversations in here before. We just don't understand how Radio Shack even stays in business. You just go in there, and there's never anybody there. Um, but you know, you, I can't argue with the chart. I can't let my personal emotions get involved with the, with what the chart is doing because, um, well, that usually just doesn't work out. Uh, so here we have a double bottom. <laughs> a double bottom has rounded rounded a bent rallied up above the big three creating a rounded bottom breakout consolidating very nice and ended yesterday with a very nice candle I would trade this on any strength uh, uh, any any bullish strength let's uh, let's just take from right here that top and you can see that we've broken out so uh, you know I, I I can't argue with that chart uh, if the bulls want to take it up we, we should we maybe we should play with it um, if we buy right in here uh, if it can make it to the to the 200-day moving average, man, we're looking at 50% profit here. So, uh, a nice-looking rounded bottom breakout with the potential of 50 50% profit. Uh, SB SB is a uh, rounded bottom breakout. We're looking for the 34 EMA as the first target. This is a pinball setup. Uh, the rules state. Uh, that we want to see at least 10% in there. And you know, there, there's different ways to look at this. Um, say, say, yes, say yesterday's close is not 10%. Maybe it's not 10% to the 34. Well, that doesn't make it not a pinball setup. What we want to look at is you, 
you can buy it less. That's what I want to see right there. I want to see an inside buy, buy as close to that T-line as possible. So more times than not, I measure from the T-line to the 34. I realize that yesterday's pop might be less than 10% up to that 34, but my goal is to buy it right in there uh, so we, we, we get as close as possible. Uh, and just so you know, my my uh, scans, I actually use 12% for the T-line and the 34, and that gives me a 2% buffer there. So I can I can kind of sneak right in there maybe. But that's where I like to buy on the pinball setup. Pretty much an inside day. Now, of course, if there's plenty room in there, then I don't care about buying a little bit higher. But, you know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, you have a choice of go to work for uh, $7 an hour or go to work for, uh, let's change that up. Let's turn it into percents. You have a chance to go to work for 5% or you have a chance to go to work for 10%. Uh, what, what, what do you want to do? Um, me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to work for the 10% move. So that's one reason we look at those. The, un, the other reason, it's very simple. It's an oversold, overbought situation. When price gets oversold, it tends to snap back up. Everybody kind of knows that. Uh, and I just use uh, this is based on being oversold uh, from price to moving average or moving average to moving average when these moving averages start spreading out whoops that's not what I wanted uh, when these moving averages start spreading out like that you know they always do this they always come back at some they always do it may take longer for some but they always come back and do this see how narrow it is here anyway just a thought there. Um, SD. SD is on our stock pick list as a long. We've got a nice little cup right in here. We're building a little handle. We need to see a breakout. Uh, anything over the 200 day simple moving average, I would definitely look at buying that. SPWR. Another chart that's rallied up and is consolidated, a little profit-taking consolidation, uh, potential of a real nice J-hook. Uh, this, this would be the J, something like that. J-hook, it needs to break out, and that's what makes the J-hook. For you PBO buyers, that's a PBO J-hook setup right there. TSL, TSL. Rounded bottom breakout on its way to the 200 day moving average. Uh, I would want to buy this on any kind of a pullback, keep it above the T line. I would want to buy this on any strength looking for that 200 up there. And the last one on the list is Walmart. Uh, Walmart is still a short. Uh, Walmart starts breaking down. Uh, I suspect Walmart might move into the uh, uh, 58, I don't know, 58 and change, 57, 58, 59 and change area. Uh, that's pretty far down there. We'll worry about that as it gets there. Uh, you can see that, um, let's see, we take this low, draw a line. So any weakness uh, below uh, below this area, I would take a look at that. Uh, somebody last night was asking about what is a blue ice failure. Here's one right here. Uh, we've got a chart that's rallying up. It pulled back rallied up to near that 50-day simple moving average and now it's coming back. It's basically an inverted J-hook. Okay, I'm going to check out of here. Good trading today. I need to get this video loaded and up. Members, you'll be able to find this in the member side of the watch list. Um, member side of the, um, come on Rick, um, website in the blog area. Back shortly.